Hi, I'm Matt Paulson, and today we're going to discuss diesel exhaust fluid hose and how the selective catalytic reduction system works. In 2010, new regulations came out that defined emission standards for on-road vehicles. One of the methods used to achieve this emission standard for diesel trucks and machinery is a process called selective catalytic reduction, or SCR. This advanced active emissions control technology system can reduce nitrogen oxide emissions up to 90%, hydrocarbon emissions by 50 to 90%, and particulate matter emissions by 30 to 50%. So how does it work? The liquid reductant agent is injected into a catalyst in the exhaust system on a diesel engine. That reductant mixture of purified water and urea is also known as diesel exhaust fluid, or DEF. The DEF kicks off a chemical reaction inside the catalyst called reduction, which converts pollutants into nitrogen, water, and a little carbon dioxide that's often expelled through the tailpipe. If those elements sound familiar, it's because they're natural components of the air we breathe. In order for reduction to take place in the system, three lines must be present. The pressure line, the return line, and the supply line. These three hoses are what keep the DEF fluid in circulation throughout the system. Here's the process. Exhaust gases leave the engine and travel through the particulate filter, which traps the hard particles. Then, the exhaust continues downstream to where the DEF fluid is injected into the SCR catalyst. Inside this canister, the nitrogen oxides of the vehicle exhaust mix with the DEF and the chemical reduction is performed. At the exit of the tailpipe, particulate matter and nitrogen oxides are theoretically at near zero levels. SCR technology is called selective because it reduces levels of nitrogen oxides using urea as a reductant in the catalyst system. SCR technology is one of the most cost-effective and fuel-efficient ways to help reduce diesel engine emissions. Thanks for watching.